Today on our trailer, we'll be installing the Peterson license plate light with the bracket part number PM436V. Now before we can put the new bracket on, we're going to need to remove this old one. This one's held in place by a couple pop rivets. We'll need to go ahead and drill them both out. Now we'll go ahead and take our wire here and feed it through the hole that was already on our trailer. If you didn't have an existing license plate holder, you would need to drill these three holes out. So we're going to go ahead and feed our wire through. And then our holes line up already, so we got lucky on this one. We're going to go ahead and use a couple self-tapping screws to attach our new license plate bracket. This metal here is behind this, so we're going to have to install this little threaded plate. So we'll slide this in. With it in place, we'll need to hold it tight up against the trailer until we get our self-tapping screws back in place. This has a little bit of adjustment to allow your plate to line up properly. We'll go ahead and take a self-tapping screw and put it in each of the two holes, securing the bracket to the trailer. Now let's go ahead and we'll hook up the wiring on the back side. Now here's the two wires that we'll need to connect. This brown wire here is tied in with the trailer's running light circuit, and this black wire here is what comes off the back of our license plate light. With our wire trimmed to length, we'll go ahead and strip back a little bit of wire so we can add our butt connector in. And we're gonna be using a heat shrink style butt connector since we're in an outside environment, just to give this connection a little more protection. With our connections made, we'll go ahead and seal up our butt connector, either using a lighter or a heat gun, preferably. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of electrical tape on our connection, just for a little more protection. We're going to go ahead and put the hardware on, the hardware that holds the license plate to it. Now on this side, we don't have metal behind it, so we'll just have to hold this little threaded piece in place. We'll put a flat washer on the screw. We'll go ahead and thread it in. Go ahead and put our other screw and flat washer in over here on the other side, and then we'll just tighten them down for now. And with that, that'll do it for our installation of the Peterson license plate light with a bracket, part number PM436B.